Good day, gamers. Hello there. Hope you're all doing wonderful. We are doing a thing. I, I know I know many of you are like, hey, hasn't he already done this? And you're right, I have done this before. However, there is a small difference this time. And there is a small difference. My previous Elden Ring DLC prep playthrough, I didn't really go around gathering a lot of stuff. I just kind of made a build and said, I'm just gonna use this character. And looking back at it, like that character is wholly unprepared for if I want to ever change that build. So this one, this playthrough specifically is going to be a very thorough one. We're going to do as many things as possible, grab as many items that are going to be good for you know different types of builds as possible, while all the while just coming up with a new build on the fly. I'm thinking something more faith like I really enjoy the faith like incantation stuff in this game. So that is the plan there. So let's start a new character. Which one's getting deleted? Reaper's getting deleted. Sorry, buddy. You gotta go. The Reaper is gone. Um, We're gonna go ahead and start off as a Prophet. Uh, the name is going to be the DLC guy. That's the one. That's the DLC guy right there. Don't wear his name out. Don't you wear it out. All right. Now, what we're going to do, we haven't done this in a long time, guys. We haven't done this in a while. You're all going to give me random numbers. And we're going to make a character based on these random numbers. We haven't done this in a minute. Okay? <laughs> it's been a long time. So, go ahead. Any number 0 to 255. I think it stops at 255, right? Yeah, 255. Give me numbers. I'll be looking at both YouTube and Twitch chat for this. All right? Now... I know there's people out there that be like, oh, he's making an ugly character. I get it. Sometimes you just don't want to see like an ugly character. However, I haven't done this type of character build in a long time. So thank you for your patience. Thanks for not complaining about it. All right. The first one is seven. Seven. Next one. 157. Next one. 230. There we go. Face structure, facial balance, 155. This one's 245. This one is 69. Nice. This one is 47. Guys, don't spam the chat with just your number. I mean, like, put a number in chat once in a while. I want to see other people's suggestions as well. Checking the new guy that's going to go through the game to the DLC? Yes. <laughs> Why you're naked? Why you naked? 24. 188. No idea what this character's going to look like, but we're just going. Guys, let's see some more names in there. Let's see some more names. Leave a like on the video as well. Give me some of these numbers, guys. 0 to 255. That one's a 254. That one's a, another 24. If you're personally attacked, you should. You absolutely should, Screamer. I'm never not personally attacking you. Nine. The big number nine. 55, you say, huh? A 55er? An 11? Okay. An 11. The Brow Ridge. 153. 42. Seventy seven. Twenty five. I'm liking the variation. Keep it going. Keep it going. Yes, is this? I got bored of that character. <laughs> this one's going to be a more interesting build, though. Something more that I'll like. I think I got bored of that character because I was playing so much with the Bloodhound Fang. And then using something like the Claymore was just kind of like, it wasn't different enough. Plus, it was using more like weapon armament buffs. And I was just like, okay, this is kind of boring me because I've already done this a shitload of times, you know? So this one's going to be different. 74. What are you doing? 
Everyone in chat is putting in random numbers between 0 and 255, and we're making a character based on what your numbers are. 73. That's a 2. That's a 39er. You hate bingo? What does that mean? <laughs> 15. You don't like bingo? <laughs> to me, that's a very random comment. <laughs> Just come in. I hate bingo. <laughs> What's up, Winter? Numbers between 0 and 255. Derek said 8. All right, let's give him an 8. Let's give him an 8. What build are you using? I'm thinking some faith stuff. I want to use some incantations. I want to use, like, fire and lightning. Maybe a nice, like... Silurius Spear or something to, to kind of get some other damage in there. I think it'd be fun. 1-1-1. One, one, one. The three ones. Yeah, the nose is kind of caved in a little bit. A little caved in. 90. What's up, Sulfonic? Hey, Jack. 123. I need more numbers, gamers. 47. Twelve. A big twelve. Thanks, clown. Thirty-seven. A 127. Let's see, another 12. Okay. Chat likes 12 today. Hey, emo. 78. 243. 81. A 69er. An 84. We're going to use the first helmet that covers the entire face anyway. <laughs> Dragon Scale Blade and Flaming Uchi Katana looks badass and hits like a truck. That's what I'm rocking now. Right on, man. It's a good variety. 29. As long as you don't have the fire going while you're trying to do the frost buildup, the ice lightning, then it's good. 101 89 86 A 2 My mood relax Can't even look at the poor guy. Ah, he's fine, man. He's fine. What build do I have in mind? I'm thinking some faith-based stuff. I, th I find faith to be pretty fun. I don't find it to be, like, hyper-powerful a lot of the time, but it is fun all the same. Doesn't mean it can't be powerful, though, because some of that shit hits real hard. I mean, I remember my Crucible Knight build. That thing smacked. The Crucible Knight, Ash of Wars, on the uh, Solarius Tree, and Ordovus' Greatsword are insane. Yes, I started as a prophet. Gamers, I need more numbers. We need another 12? We sure can. We sure can. <laughs> he just ate a warhead? Yeah, he's got like three warheads in his mouth right now. 169. A 40. He looked so good five minutes ago. Yeah, you know, it happens to the best of us. An 83. A 1. A 153. It's going well, Joshy. How are you, man? A 201. A 55er. I see a 33 out there. 
A 55er again? Yes, very good. A 32. Hello, Emo. Thanks for watching on both sides, man. I see a 210. A 234. DLC is out June 21st. A 66. Okay, hair. I'm choosing the hair. This is how we've always done it. I'm going to choose the hair myself. We're going with that. Very good. Hair color will be... A nice dark white. With a very strong luster. No root darkness. Extra white hairs. Facial hair. Let's go with... Uh, let's go with a little bit of mustache. We're going to match the hair there. The stubble. Very good. Okay. Eyebrows. Very good. Very nice. Okay. Give me another number. Majin Kai says $2 for a two. Okay. All right. Sellout moment. Two for a two. There you go. Right iris, iris color. Let's just make it some weird colors. Let's go with like one bright red. No clouding. Right eye white color. Let's go with... I don't know, like a yellow. A little jaundice action. Give me a number. 16. Okay, I see a 16 out there. Left iris size. We are not going to match the number here. What do I see? I see a 200. I see a 200 in there. Left iris color. Let's choose... Let's choose like a... A nice bright blue. Clouding. None. Clouding color. Doesn't matter. The whites... Let's see. Very good. Left eye position. It's 0 to 255. There is no 299. But I do see a 200. We'll go with a 200. Okay, he's a little derpy. <laughs> he's a little derpy. Alright, another number. I see a 100. I see a 9. 56. Let's go with yellow. Very good. He's looking a little sickly. Cosmetics, we don't want any. Tattoos, not interested. Okay. Now, what color do we want the man to be? What color do we want him to be? What are we thinking, guys? What color? A pink? Do we want like a hot pink? A pale pink? A dark pink? Because I mean, I can make him vibrant pink. A pale pink? Alright. Sounds good. There you go. What a guy. What a guy. Okay, more numbers are needed here. I see a one. Now keep in mind that when it comes to these ones, they can actually pull on one another. So it is, it is what it is. It is what it is. 128. Oh, that was already 128. I see a three. A chartreuse. I need, I need three more numbers here, guys. 122. A 39. Body hair, 255. Of course I see a 255 with body hair. 
musculature, standard. And there's our guy. Save to favorites. Yes. There he is. The DLC guy. Oh, yeah. Let's begin. Let's begin. Been undecided whether I want to do a new playthrough or go into the DLC or use to use in the DLC or use an existing character in New Game Plus. I mean, let's be honest, we're probably going to end up doing both anyway, right? Let's be honest here. Hey, John, hope you're doing well too, man. Hey, Seismic. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoy your time here, Broco. It means a lot, man. What up, Emmer? Hey, Constantinos. Max level player? No, I will never be doing max level. <laughs> no. Nope. That, that does not intrigue me. <laughs> I... <laughs> I just ran up and casted heal. I thought I had catch flame out. <laughs> yeah, take that, dude. Yeah, take that. You ever been healed on so hard in your life? <laughs> that was that was some real dumb shit. Why don't I stream daily? Because I stream most days. This is my third day in a row, for example. It's just that a lot of people don't see because they don't come to my channel looking for the streams. They just wait for the recommendation to pop up. I streamed the last two days and today, so that's three in a row. And obviously I didn't stream, you know, for like, what, six, seven days because I got very sick. I actually just finished up the antibiotic for my sickness today. If you're wondering why you don't see me live, go to my channel. Like, don't wait for the recommendation. Literally go to my channel and take a look. Chances are, as you'll see, that I'm going to be live streaming or I'm being st I'm going to be streaming a game that YouTube is just not recommending to you. No notification popped up on YouTube? Yeah, so that, that's something you have to manually get around yourself. You can't rely on YouTube, just recommend it. Recommendations are nice, but relying on that is a big mistake. Hey, Biggie. Happy Sunday. Yeah, Christian, it's because of daylight savings right now. Uh, there's a daylight savings time change where time moved ahead for us. So if the stream does seem a little bit earlier for you, that is why. It'll be like that for the next few weeks for you, because I think European daylight savings time is end of the month. Yes, um... I think I stream a lot more than most people realize. It just depends on whether or not YouTube gives them the recommendation. I can't remember which, but there's some enemies that take damage when you apply certain types of heals. Yeah, that would be Royal Revenants. Yep. Streams are earlier now for the next few weeks for you, yeah. Bum 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 bum. Oh, come to the of course you without guy you are fake. Run the dialogue with Vare. Eh? That hmm, it will lead even if it great to castle the hope. It took castle if you it took castle. Okay, there we go. Now let's kill the big guy. 
I think uh, because my health is so low, he might be able to one-shot me. I guess we'll find out, huh? Come here, bud. Give him a little bit of fire. Drink the blue juice. Up off the rock there, guy. Oh, I rolled early. Yep, he one-shots me. You think Vare killed the Maiden? Absolutely. Well, rolled early, got one shot. God damn it. Start playing Dark Souls 1. Do you have any tips on how to defeat the Taurus Demon? I mean, it's it's a lot about just, like, timing of your attacks, patience. Just like any other big boss. And that that's a boss that really teaches you that right at the beginning. Damn. Oh, the body check. I hate that attack so much. Out of the juice. Drink up. Stop off again. Okay, what up, Silence? Happy birthday, dude. We like getting those catch flame spear attacks simultaneously. That's actually kind of fun. I love that you can use catch flame and then swing a weapon like in a combo. That's pretty sick. What's up, Maynard? Hey, Cody. Okay, what do we want to do first? What do I want to do? I guess we should get some health under our belt to start. Never cared for this spear. I'm not huge on it, but, you know. The impaling thrust is nice. There's a mom joke in there somewhere. Hey, Tro. Boop. You know what's interesting, Emperor Palpatine, is that the uh, Draconic Tree Sentinel in front of Malaketh's room is only difficult because of the slope there. If it wasn't for the slope, the fireballs wouldn't be nearly a problem. It would be virtually no different than the one standing in front of the back entrance of Landale, to be honest. That slope is what changes that fight. Favorite weapon in Elden Ring? Godslayer Greatsword. 
Hey, Persephone. Bum, bum, bum. What build are you going for? It's going to be faith related in some way. I really like using things like catch flame, Have maybe a little bit of lightning. They serve at you. I but I also want to get all the crucible stuff again, to too. The foot. Then it summon me. Ah, I bequeath. No, I will not be farming at Mogwin Palace, no. I'm not into farming. But I just don't find it necessary in this game. No real need to do it. <laughs> Yo, L'Enfant Sauvage, I love the name, dude. And yeah, dual scythes are fun. I agree. I concur. Thanks for watching on both sides, man. Both on Twitch and the YouTube. And here's the deal, guys. I'm going to be spouting this out constantly throughout this entire playthrough. I do play other games, and there will be more games on the stream on my channel in general in the future. I play games in both YouTube and Twitch, both live on stream, and I'm also going to be getting into making a lot more videos. I'm kind of planning on starting a bit of a series on my channel where I play games that I missed, and also I will be tackling new games as they come out, you know, both on stream and in videos as well. So keep your eyes peeled, make sure that you, uh, you know, you come to my channel every so often to check for new content. Because I've played a lot of Elden Ring on my channel, YouTube has a really hard time actually recommending my channel to more people um, if it's not Elden Ring. So the reason I'm saying this out loud is I need you guys to go to my channel and check out some videos in the near future. So that way you two will recommend you more of my content. We only want Elden Ring? That ain't true. But also, don't be that guy. I know damn well you play more than Elden Ring. You have played more than Elden Ring in the last two years. You shouldn't expect other people to do that either. Not abandoning Skullington, are you? I'm not... I don't think abandoned is the right word. Um, I'm adopting that style of content that I've made. I made 10 videos for that channel, and I'm adopting all the stuff that I did there onto this channel. It's a bit of a choice that I'm making to streamline. Trust me, I don't like that I'm having to do it, but the re the big reason being is because I, I live stream very often. I live stream, you know, five plus days out of the week, most weeks. Plus, I edit my own videos. I make the majority of my own thumbnails. I, you know, I title, tag, optimize all of my videos. It is a lot of work for one person. When I tell you that just working on what I work on alone is going to be upwards of like 60, 70 hours a week, I'm not exaggerating. And that's without Skullington involved. <laughs> so, yeah. It's just a lot, man. Maybe in the future, if I can hire a video editor or something at some point, then I'll be able to, you know, do that better. Yo, Crit Nature, they gave the 5 CHF. Wasn't online then, but congrats on your successful Deathless run, by the way. You finally did it? I did. Thank you so much for the 5 CHF, Crit. Yeah, consolidating is a better way to put it. You have an editor that helps you? No. Hiring an editor is very expensive. Don't need any of this. Okay, let's go back here. Let's get some levels under our belt, shall we? Doing well, Morph. How are you? So yeah, the reason why you see, okay, for example, like, you know all those channels, gaming channels you see out there that have, like, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of subscribers? A lot of those channels will put out a very highly edited video every week, or several through that week. Some, some even go as hard as every single day. You know how they're able to do that? They outsource all the work. All they do is play the video game, upload the footage, and they pay at least one or two editors 
to make all these videos for them. Some of them even have editors that work on one video a week and they'll have a full editor team of seven or more people. And then on top of that, they have a thumbnail team as well. They'll have two, sometimes up to five people making thumbnails for all of this as well. And so because of that, it becomes very expensive. And that's why they're able to run the channels the way they do. Because they get so many views, because they have such high following, uh, such a high sub count, they're bringing in a lot of ad revenue. And so they're able to pay all these people to do that work for them, you know? And that's the reason why you see a lot of these larger channels being so much more active. They are paying upwards of oftentimes 15, 20 people to run one channel. And again, that is no exaggeration. Learn well the lands between. How long will it be, I wonder, before the time Oh, don't worry, Iraj. That type of gameplay will still be on this channel here, too. I still plan on playing survival games. I'm just doing more on top of it as well, as far as, like, a variety of games, right? And I can also let you not then. Why not? I am Carly. Make Screamer do it. All right, sounds good. Screamer, you ready? You ready, bud? And so that's why you see a lot of these larger channels being able to pump out content so much more. It's because they're working with a full-fledged team. I don't have that. Hey, Night City. Hey, Pricey. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I don't think there's anything useful item-wise in here, but let's take a look. I mean, Cracked Pot's not bad, I guess. I'm gonna die. How did that miss? Oh my shit, dude. I'm leaving. I'm going straight to the boss. The boss will probably kill me. But it's fine. Dogs, dude. Wolves. Why that miss? What? Damn. It's okay. We got more health out of the deal. Well, I have no right to be alive, but we are, so that's cool. Hey, Gabriel. I'm ready. What am I doing? You're going to start editing my videos. Congratulations. Welcome to the team. Can you tell I haven't really casted many spells aside from, like, weapon armaments and Golden Vow lately? <laughs> Cooked that beast, man? I did. Cooked him real good. Do you have a favorite build you've done in Eldering or DLS 3? Uh, I liked my Crucible Knight build, my Dragon Warrior build, my Black Flame Monk. The dagger builds are fun. What's my favorite ending? Frenzied Flame. Hey, Rakib. Someone had to do it, right? Someone had to do it, Andy.
Noticing this spear misses a hell of a lot. Your lack of faith is disturbing. Hey, it's at like 12 or something, right? Yeah, it's at 16. We're fine. We're fine, man. Don't go Star Wars on me. I have plenty of faith. Well, that guy died. Mr. Blue, thank you for the two months of Twitch Prime. Love your playthroughs. Been here since attempt number two of the Deathless Run. Hell yeah, man. Glad you enjoyed it. Thank you for the Twitch Prime once again. God, the spear is so shit. This spear is so bad. Let's go burn this uh, watchdog, shall we? Do you burn? I rolled early. Me. Okay, some easy levels there. Yeah, that's the short spear. Why is he dressed like Barbie? Please show me the model of Barbie that dresses like this. Please show me that. Is there like a like a hobo Barbie or something that I don't know about? Messiah Barbie? Does that exist? Any rules for this run? It's just a casual playthrough. I feel like going for a Geo right now is a bad idea. Let's do it. Gonna burn this dragon's toes right off. Oh, I got stuck on something. That was almost really bad. Stupid dragonfly. Gonna run out of mana before it dies, but that's all right. We still have the spear.
think the bats are going to chase me now, which isn't good. All right, time for poking. Burn him. Please, Barbie, not Pepto Balls Bismol pink enough. <laughs> what up, Godwin? Hey, kitty mommy. Summons this run? Probably not. To the new Dune movie? Not yet. I've read the books. So I know everything that happens, but I've not seen the movie yet. I would say go explore golf, Mike. The game is way more interesting that way. All right, we have 20 health. Very good. Watch your latest YouTube video, beating every boss without dying at the office the other day. Hell yeah, Rocky. You finally did it, my man. I did. Couldn't be regular during live due to time zone issues, but watched it on YouTube. Proud of you, my guy. Thank you so much, dude. Very nice of you to say. Thank you, man. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video as well. It's very important to me. Thank you. Burn them. Burns them all. What is over here? I can't remember. This guy's going to explode, I think. Nope, never mind. He's not the one with the pouch on his back. No, it's just a smithing one. Okay. New Elden Ring map, same or change? Um, this game doesn't have a randomized map, if that's what you're asking. I'm not using a randomizer. Doing all right, Scarecrow. How are you, man? Which bell, bell tower turtle do I need to sit down? Which can duplicate the Elden Beast Remembrance? Oh, the, um, the mausoleums. So there's two types of mausoleums. You'll see that they look identical aside from some having a bell underneath and some do not have the bell underneath. The ones that do have the bell underneath are the ones that can duplicate the major remembrance remembrances. And then the ones that don't have the bells are used for the minor remembrances. Fucking dog. Is Dune better than Star Wars? For me, yes. So you can find one with a bell in Weeping Peninsula. There's also one in Northern Lyurnia. And there's also another one outside of Castle Saul in the mountaintops. And then there's also another one, I believe, one, yeah, one with a bell in, um, what's it called? Consecrated Snowfield. Those are the four that I know of off the top of my head. Yo, our Melg, thank you for becoming a member of the channel. Thank you a lot, dude. Thank you very much. I appreciate it loads. Goodbye. Nadim, thank you for stopping for a quick hello and a like. My family went to watch Dune 2, but I chose the Josh feed. Yo, that's a real, real supporter right there. Love to see that. <laughs> Ah. 
Burn them toes, baby. All right, that's done. Uh, what else do I want to do real quick at the beginning? Let's go get this guy. What level are you aiming for going into the DLC? I'm not aiming for any one level. From Software or Miyazaki specifically has put out a statement saying that the DLC is going to have its own unique leveling system, so your overall level in the base game is really not going to matter. They're specifically tailoring it, so that does not matter. Bernal, please leave. There you are. Not fl level give you more options i mean for attribute based stuff sure but the scaling of everything isn't really going to matter so much at that at that point Will new game plus also reset no that never does in dlcs hey thanks nikolai Point, 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 point. Let's go yoink Golden Val from this guy up here. Don't really plan on using it, but it'll be nice to have in my pocket. Burn him! Burn him now! Burn him immediately. Yo, Anthony, they be the five bones. I would very much like request dagger only mesmer run, please and thank you. I have a feeling I'll end up taking my dagger only build into that DLC as well, yeah. It is one of my favorites. Thank you for the five, dude. What's up, Pack? How have you been, man? Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, my damage is pathetic. This spear sucks. Then again, they are skeletons. I think they're resistant to pierce. What about Dami Mommy? I don't know about that one. It's going to be a faith based build to Medi, but we're kind of just playing it as it happens. We're going to build it on the fly. What up, Centipede? Welcome back. Not your first time here, by the way.
Hey, Popman. Hey, Jojo. Hey, Muhammad. Hey, Cole. Those skeletons are real stabby. Well, so is the Black Knife Assassin, so that's cool. Come here. Algernon, thank you for gifting a sub to Centipede IRL. I appreciate the loads, man. Thank you for that. Okay, we got that guy. Um, What major quests are down here? We got to talk to Vare, which we already have. We already got that part started. We got to go... I'll leave Patches alive this run, but I do have to take out Bloody Finger Narius. Let's go get that started. I need to speak with Yora as well. There's Bach. We gotta get Alexander. It's time to cast if yeah. was... All right, Kenny. Sir Kenneth Hike. We're not gonna actually kill him this time. We could talk to Selen as well. Let's grab the Twin Blade over here real quick while we're in the area. Marius, yep, we're going there in a moment. Already on the checklist. What up, T-Drips? Try Moog early and do a Moog Spear build? Nah. That, that would just kind of... Meh. I like the weapon, but I don't want to just kind of roll through the game with another bleed build. I've used bleed so much lately, I want to do other things. Fun weapon otherwise, though. These dragonflies are up my ass today. What's going on? I've never been hit by so many dragonflies in a single playthrough in my life. Shabriri Finger Maiden quest. Yeah, that, that really starts when we go south towards Weeping Peninsula. That's on the list as well. What up, Benito? Smoke Spear is arcane, isn't it? Yeah, it's largely arcane. But all again, it's just, it's based around bleed. And I've done that so much lately with Blood Flame. All right. Do I die here or not? I guess we find out now. Narius is kind of a pain in the ass with this type of build. Get him, buddy. Get him, Yora. Oh my god, he's going for the super shanks. Good job, Yora. Let's go over here and speak with Yora so I don't forget about it. Heavy thrusting swords fun? Yeah, they, they can be pretty fun. Memberships at 300 before the first hour. Oh, really? Guys, if we need 60 more likes, if we hit 300 in the first hour, which is only five minutes away, there's going to be some gifted memberships from Cole and Winter. Thanks, guys. We are short on time, though. We got to hit those likes real fast. Can Yora die here? You can kill him. 
Why is he pink? Because we made him pink. Yeah, Benito, I'm feeling a lot better, man. Elgonon's going to toss some in, too. Nice. 49 legs to go. Go, 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 go. Get those likes out there. Yo, Moleback, they give the Twitch Prime four months now. Thank you, man. Thank you, dude. Did he die from the bloody finger? Ah, uh, that I do not know. I can say that I've never had it happen. But whether or not it's possible, I honestly have no idea. Noir Jekyll with the Twitch Prime as well. Four months. Welcome back, dude. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you. What up, James? Lurking on the Josh feed while playing Helldivers. Nice, dude. Nice. Why is this going so poorly? Imps, dude. Imps. Look at that. 310 likes. Boom. You guys are fast. You guys are real fast on those likes. Thank you for all the likes, guys. Where are you going? Okay, that's done. Let's go speak with Patches now. Winter, Elgernon, and Cole. Thank you each for one gifted member. Thank you, guys. Very kind of you all. Screamer throwing one in the hat as well. One in the ring, rather. Thank you, man. Thank you as well. Calred with a gifted member. Thank you, dudes. Am I doing region lock? No. This is not a challenge run in any way, shape, or form. It's just a casual playthrough. Making a character, preparing for the DLC. We're just vibing. You said not the imp? I did say that, yeah. Not the imp! Thank you guys for the gifted members. I, dude, that poison is so annoying. <laughs> Just instantly poisoned, man. All right, we're doing it. Go, go, go. I have determined that that was a mistake. I didn't think that was going to one-shot me. Yeah. 
that was a little bit of a hail mary that I should have. Uh, perhaps they're a little bit, a, a little bit less hail, a little bit less merry there, you know. My mistake. Hey, can you stop with the knife or the sword? That's not how you do it. Ah, my mistake. My bad, dude. There are going to be videos of your DLC playthrough, so looking forward to it. I plan on making videos as well as I will be live streaming it. Yes. Nice, El Caporal. Start a new run for a faith build. What do you recommend? I find a lot of the fire spells, spells to be a really good time. That would be my recommendation. Try out the fire spells. Catch Flame specifically is so good. Well, it's also the giant fireball spell. I can't recall. That one's sick, too. I'm all out of the blue juice. Achoo! Achoo! Wait, wait, please. I surrender. White flag and all. Man really just kicked me. I want to kill him so bad. Am I doing any more challenge runs for Elden Ring? I have none planned. I've always done a lot more than just Elden Ring and challenge runs anyway. That was just something that I was doing because I wanted to challenge myself in a way I've never done before. That's not going to be like a permanent arc. That was never the plan. Just pushing the limits of my capabilities and seeing what I'm capable of. Challenge runs in general require you to spend a lot of time in a single game, and that's just not the type of gamer that I am. I want to play more games in the future when they come out. Okay, we spoke with Patches. That's good to go. Uh, let's go down this way, shall we? Imagine if Patches wore a kilt. Honestly, I'm surprised he's not. That guy had the thrust ready. I had to kind of back off. Um, There's a flail that I would, I would like to grab, but everyone's chasing me. But yeah, I... I don't plan on doing any more challenge runs, at least not anytime soon. I played the first Dragon's Dogma? Yeah. Years ago. Hey, Balthazar. Oi, Cully! There he is. There's Bach right there. Oi! You, you there. Could you help us out, Cully? Oh. What you going? Mm -hmm. Some clock. You will just thank you. I was pushing. I ended up. Everyone wave hello to Bach right now. Oh, when they hello, do, Bach. So this is all I hope. Hello there. Or I can then not. Right. I'm. I collect all collectibles. I'm going to get most of the items, yeah. Oh, holy shit. The spear on horseback is awful. I should say uh, this, this spear in general is awful, not just horseback.
Hello, Bach pierces chest with spear. <laughs> What's up, Caesar? What's in this thing? I can't recall. Is it the great axe? Yes, great axe. Ooh, what do you guys say we try out a little bit of using the, um, the axe that we get as the drop from the south, the Weeping Peninsula, uh, Deathbird? Is it Executioner's axe? I can't recall. Holy shit, bro. Stop swinging. Every time something dies while you're wielding that axe, it gives you back a little bit of mana. That could be fun. Hey, Mivet Blue. I am doing well. How are you? Am I going to use Moonveil? No, I won't be using Moonveil. Be humble. I'm actually not a fan of Moonveil. Sacrificial Axe. Yes, that's the one. I am sorry you hear. Ah, I dare say you're well, but one must choose. I was ex as a revive, you still. The plan is to be able to get as many things under my belt as possible. I want, you know, all the weapons, even if I have to farm. Like, we might do a little farming for certain weapons on this playthrough as well, just to kind of have as much as possible before the DLC comes out. But I want to make sure I get all the spells and everything, all the incantations, all that stuff. And do I have a calendar? I use a Google Calendar for things. Uh, what are you asking, though? Do I have a calendar? What would I need a calendar for? I guess just it just depends on what it pertains to. Like, if, you, if you're asking if I have a calendar for, like, scheduled content or something, no. But I talk about the things that are coming up in my live streams and videos and stuff. Magma Whip Farm? You can't farm the Magma Whip. That's a quest reward from Patches. You can farm the Magma Sword, though. For his earliest whip, that is Backside of Castle Morn. You can also get one from uh, Dialos pretty early, too, if you kill him. Yeah, you can also grab the Arumi from uh, Karian Manor. True. Hey, Robin. Yeah, I might farm for that. I also want to get the, um, the Fire Monk Sword, too. There's only one place to farm that, though. Oh god, that was weird. That you're going to make a calendar in your old videos about what you would be doing uh no i use my like i my member only videos to talk about games coming up that month as a sort of spoken calendar i don't recall ever saying that i would have like a calendar put out for people to look at i never 
I know uh, for sure I never planned that. If I said it, then I misspoke. It has never been a thing that I planned. But I do use my member videos to talk about upcoming events. So it's like a month-by-month -month spoken calendar, I guess. Think Black Flame build is viable? Absolutely. Yeah, Dark Souls lore is good stuff, Noah. You show us how you managed to fight bell bearing hunters. I struggle a lot fighting them. I have a whole playlist on my YouTube channel about how to fight majority of bosses in Elden Ring. I would say check that out. I don't know why I sat there. I didn't need to sit there. I think I know right where that is. That's on the back side of Stormvale Castle. Right here, right at this little uh, spot above my head is going to be, what is it, the, uh, is it the Academy Scroll? Either way, there's a scroll there. On the other side, over there, is where the bunch of skeletons spawn, I believe. No, actually, you know what? There's no, there's no, uh, there's no architecture there dividing that area. Never mind. That's wrong. This is going to be in... Weeping Peninsula. Actually, I haven't looked at these paintings in a long time. I think that's going to be Southern Limgrave Weeping Peninsula area. Either looking across that divide towards the Erd Tree, though, over there. Or from the other side, looking at one of these ones. Let's speak with Kenneth. Is Crucible Knight parryable in phase two as well? Yes. You can't uh, you can't uh, parry any of the magical attacks, but the sword and spear are still parryable. Paintings are places you can visit in game. Yes, and if you do, if you find them, you can get some special items. There we go. My guy is a yapper. Don't kick him. You know what's weird is I almost did by habit. This is a new DLC prep or in addition to the old one, a new one. A brand new one. That boar is chasing me down. Oh, he's backing off. Never mind. Guess we'll throw on that because it's all I have. Hey, Paul. I know there's a rune bear back here, but is there anything else? I can't remember if there's an item back here. Let's get crazy. Never mind, there's wolves too. I forgot there's wolves too. 
while the wolves fight him. Okay, that's kind of nice, actually. Oh my god. Hey, Clyde. Nice day, and that's what's up, man. These wolves barely hurt the rune bear at all. And he just drops a beast blood. Interesting that there's Trina's lilies back here, though. Considering the correlation between wolves and Mikola. That's interesting. Yo, Atska, they were the five euros. Hey, Josh, just got done with an absolute bitch of a group assignment, and your stream is much needed. Now, hopefully it's on the other side of you now. It's all good to go. It's all finished. Thanks for the five. Thanks for tuning in. Well, let's take your mind off it, yeah? Thanks for being here. Thank you for the fiver. Why is Tarnished bright pink? Does there need to be a reason? Can we just can we just be pink? He chewed a lot of bubble gum in a past life. That's 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 the lore. He chewed a lot of bubble gum. He ate nonstop big league chew. He's addicted. Happens to the best of us, you know? That big league chew, man. A lot of crab down here. Hey, Miss Braddocka, becoming a member. Welcome back. Thanks for doing it. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. I ain't scared of no rune bear. Actually, I kind of am. I gotta go. Wendy, thank you for the five dollar super chat. In my first playthrough, I leveled up faith and intelligence to access all the spells. I even leveled my vigor and mind to ninety to ninety-five. You had a chonky mage build. I like it. That sounds fun. That sounds like a good time. Thank you for the five dollars, Whitney. I appreciate it loads. I rolled early. Stop humping me! Hey man, just asking, can I just uh, drink some juice here? No? He doesn't like it when I drink juice. I didn't know you were going to charge there. Thank you again, Whitney. Well, hey. No! Oh, God damn it. You still hit me. I can't remember what's down here. That's why I'm going down here. I need to. I need to see. Hey, T Mac. Axe talisman. Now, what does that do again? Enhances charged attacks. Hmm. Well, that's the most likely talisman for me to use right now. So I guess we'll take it. What up, Kevin?
What is near 100% playthrough? It means that I'll be gathering the majority of the items throughout the playthrough, but there is no one way to get every single item in a single playthrough, such as choosing the ending of the Millicent quest, or which talisman you choose to get from ta uh, Alexander, depending on when you actually kill him. It is physically impossible to get 100% on one single playthrough. Not sure yet, short sleeve Steve. That's what we're making this character to figure out right now. We're just kind of making a new character and seeing where we land. Doing things on the fly. I'm not the type of guy that wants to do everything like hyper optimized. I want to do something that's fun, something that's interesting. And so that's the plan here too. Son of a bitch. What is with these rats? Holy shit, man. Oh my god, I'm gonna have an aneurysm. Over rats. Sorry, Kenneth, I could not liberate your fort, for the rats are too strong. I basically just got frame trapped for a whole 30 seconds there. Oh, you mother... That guy up there is so dead. Holy brother, you are going to die the worst death. Come here. Come here. Get the fuck down. Get the fuck down there. Go! Come here! I'm gonna punch you. You fucking like that, huh? Huh? Okay, he's not a fan. Come here! Come here! You fucking bitch! Come here. Stick my hand right up. Never mind. Ah! Achoo! There you go. Stupid. Idiot. Jerkwad. I hate that guy. I just, I hate that guy so much. You son of a bitch. Uh, nice backstab animation. Good job, game. <laughs> what up, Claire? How you doing? Sorry, guys. I had a bit of a temper tantrum for a moment there. Favorite boss in Elden Ring? Moog. Juice is kind of unhinged today. <laughs> I'm feeling great, man. I'm feeling better than I have in literal months. 
I think I had a respiratory infection for a long time and just never really realized. That can happen, man. You can end up with sicknesses and you don't realize that you have a sickness because you're just like, it happens gradually over time, so you just don't really notice any changes. I think that's what happened with me. Until, you know, a couple days ago where I had that massive coughing fit. But ever since I've been on the antibiotic and I'm actually like, I'm actually feeling really good. I'm really happy about it. Can you get over there? Oh! I don't think so. Alright. We can tell Kenneth that his fort has been cleansed. Dude's getting the roids now. Yeah, Algernon, yeah. Do, do, do. Where can I go without dying a death? Right here. Never met Kenneth? Let's meet him here now together. Well He's going to give me a knife. Go ahead. Thanks, dude. Right then, I've much What's that look? Well, under the even the vow, which is why I just you. Huh? Would you like I see bright enter and who knows what say you? Sure. Very well. I knew I shall await you. you shall hold I see. Right. I've, I've always found this prospect to be funny. I'm the one that liberated the fort. You couldn't liberate the fort, which probably means by process of elimination, I could probably eliminate you as well. But yeah, let me pledge fealty to you. Yeah, now that that makes sense. Right, much. That makes sense. I just took your fort back. I could just I could just stake a claim right here now. All right, guys, we officially call this Fort Juice. All right, ignore what it says. It says Fort Height, but it's actually Fort Juice from here on out. Very good. Very good. We've officially staked a claim to a fort. That's mine now. Go cry. Have a good night, man. Thank you for being here. Now, what is it that I want to do next? Let's go here. I declare this fort, Fort Juice. He's nobility, you're just wretched tarnished. That's true. I am but a mere wretched tarnished. What up, Retro? It's going to be a faith-based build. Not quite sure how it's going to end up yet, though. What up, Chris Tristian? Yep, back on Twitch as well. Yeah, I'm excited for it as well, Mike. Very much so looking forward to it. Promise I'm going to make a marker right now in my world. That's what I love to see, Jack. That's what I love to see. A king. A true king. Where's that golem? He's down further, isn't he? Yeah, he's right there. <laughs> I 
<laughs> What's up, Jen? Yo, Aiden Gamer Boy, thank you for three months of membership, dude. I bet everyone is terrified for the DLC guy when he has a cold. Anyone could perish at any moment. Anyways, keep up the good work. Yeah, man, when he gets the sneezes, it gets rough out there. Thank you for three months of membership, dude. Let's go right here. We can go speak with Alexander as well as take out the Tibia Mariner and the Guardian Golem underneath. Do you not fancy Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? Nah. No. Nope. I'm taking a very lengthy break from anything Final Fantasy after the last few games, man. Every Final Fantasy since 16, I have just not enjoyed. I'm sorry, every, yeah, every, every Final Fantasy since 13 is what I tried to say there. I know it's a different team that worked on that one and everything, but I'm just not interested right now. I am very just over it. Hello? Catch Flame does poise damage, yeah. Can you hear me? Oh, I At the end of the day, pretty much every attack does. I just give and I'll pop. Don't dally, give it your all. Ouch! Ah, oh, that. <laughs> well, I. Once it was really weird. Did you save this guy? And he's like, here, dude, have some flesh. I am beyond upon this. i like, gee, thanks, man. I will take this flesh, but thank you. Uh, I feel a little awkward now. Okay, that's all good. Do do do. Same voice as Dark Souls HD. Are you him? No. But I'm not quite sure who that is. Nope, I am me. I've always been me. But not that guy. Please drop the helmet. You know what? I deserve that. Helmet? Ah, you bitch. Is there anything actually down this way aside from land octopuses and mosquitoes, I guess? You know, I always forget there's actually an alternate way up this way. Because of the where Murkwater Catacombs is, I forget there's not like a ledge there that blocks you out from getting up this way. Interesting. Stay away from the tentacles. Dragonflies, actually. Actually, streamer. Actually, it's this other thing that's also annoying. Actually. That's you. That's what you sound like.
yeah, I don't blame people for, you know, enjoying Final Fantasy. I did for many years. I just think that uh, where the franchise has gone and everything, it just isn't for me right now. I'm hoping that'll change in the future, but I just don't want to keep spending my money on something that I'm very highly likely not going to like, you know? It's a wee bit dark in here. Let's see if I can time a catch flame on this wolf. Nope. A little late. Nice catch. Yeah. I caught its teeth right in my face. Do not push me off that, you son of a bitch. There, have that. Just get rid of you. Be gone, demon. Hey! Relax, bud. This guy, huh? I think there's just a golden rune up here. I need to decide on what weapon I want to use early game, guys. What are we thinking? I think I'm going to go Sacrificial Axe, actually. I just need to go get Sacred Blade so I can take out the uh, guy a little easier. The guy. This right here is the Sham Shear. Thank you. Item to my left is just a finger. We don't need the finger. I have enough fingers on my own. Yeah, Miss Pratica, yeah. Yo, Andrew, what up? Been a while, man. How you doing? Plug it in, plug it in. I didn't want to drink the juice. Okay, that's finished. Bueno, what up proper monkey? The only Final Fantasy I want to play is an FF8 remake. I wonder if this one is successful, if they'll start remaking more of them. I know there's a good amount of people that would love to see, like, 10, for example. 10 remade. I just don't know how far they're going to be willing to take the whole idea. I feel like for them, at Square Enix, it would be... A mistake to not i feel like for a lot of people they see final fantasy and it's just like a money printing machine for them i, I should say specifically the older ones would be a, a money printing machine their newer ones are you know they don't sell as well but i feel it would be a mistake for them to not 
I've just tuned in, so I'm going to be the annoying one. What build are you going to do? What up, left? Stop being annoying, dude. No. <laughs> um, I'm just kind of building it on the fly. I started as a prophet as I want to do some uh, incantation stuff. Maybe I'll get into some dragon casting. Maybe we'll do a lot of fire and lightning. We're just kind of playing it by ear, you know what I mean? Yeah, FFF12 was remade. How did that sell? That is my personal favorite, but I can't remember how it sold. I did buy it. I did buy it. Heard rumors of Bloodborne remake. There's been rumors of Bloodborne remakes pretty much every two months for the last, like, eight years. <laughs> so I can't really say, Joe. I have no idea, man. The current rumor that I've heard the most of lately when it comes to Bloodborne and a remake is they're holding off until PS6 because they want to use it to help sell that console initially. But people said the same thing about PS5 as well, so, you know. But I'm just saying, like, I said this back for uh, PS5. I would buy a PS6 for a Bloodborne remake. I would. I would be that guy. I would be that guy. Speaking of Sony remakes and stuff, it's not a remake, but Ghost of Tsushima is being ported to PC, guys. And I will be playing it. I don't know if I'm going to make videos on it or live stream it, but either way, you will find Ghost of Tsushima PC on my channel. I've been waiting to play that game for a long time. Obviously, I tried playing in the past. I call it my Bad Omen game. I call it my Bad Omen game because every time I go to play the game, something bad happens. I've tried on three different occasions to play the game, and something major in my life happens at that time. In fact, in fact, guys, in fact, the same day that the PC port was announced was the day that I had to go to urgent care because I was suddenly extremely sick. That was like, what, a week ago? Another fool who won't listen to reason or with a prowess. Mm. Yeah. How would if you're inclined to haunt more of those who live in death? Then I'll introduce Show chat your face? Sure, one see. moment. Very well. Of not the it will lead you. Don't mind me, I'm jaundiced in one eye. How'd you come up with that? Um, so what I, I've done this in the past as well. What I did when we were making the character is I had chat just read off a bunch of numbers between zero and 255. And I just randomly picked a bunch of numbers that people were spamming in chat and ended up making this beautiful, beautiful man. All right, let's go get the crucible knight. Face only a mother could love, funny. Just had relations with your mother last night, so you might be right. You might be on to something. <laughs> Got him. Got him, chap. All right, let's kill a Crucible Knight, shall we? Let's get him. Hey, Amber. 
Also, never take mother jokes seriously. They're just a joke. Nice knockdown, nice knockdown. Flawless victory. I reposted <laughs> zero damage. Yeah, this spear is ass, dude. <laughs> this spear is so bad. <laughs> to be fair, though, I've not upgraded it, right? But even then, even when it's upgraded, the short spear is just not good. What's the difference between 100% and all bosses? Are you picking up every weapon? Pretty much asphalt. I'm going to be picking up everything that is available on a standard playthrough. At least as thoroughly as I can. And then when I get to a certain point, I'm going to start going uh, through a checklist to make sure that I don't miss anything. I say near 100% because it's actually impossible to do a single playthrough 100%. There's uh, certain quests that have certain choices to them, which will disallow certain items. So you have to make a choice and get one out of two different choices at the end of the day for certain things. All right, we got that. Uh, we've already spoken with Selen. I think we're good to head south. I think. We are not good to head south. Never mind. I need to get Sacred Blade. We need to get Sacred Blade. Before I do that, though, I'm going to take a really quick break. I got to pee. Guys, I had green tea for the first time in, like, forever. Today. I'm excited about that. I'll be right back, guys.
All right, gamers, I'm back. I am back. I share my checklist. I don't have a checklist active right now. I'm going to find one probably tonight after stream. I'd imagine the Go Blue Bro checklist that I use for the All Bosses Deathless run should work pretty much the same, though. It does list off all the quests and stuff, so perhaps check that out. Maybe the same checklist will work. Link that for them. Thank you. Is there anything out this way? I don't recall anything important this way. There's just a longer way to get back up. I recall zero items of importance out here. I found a neutralizing ballas, a truly game-changing weapon. Or, I'm sorry, <laughs> item. <laughs> Not a weapon at all. Okay, tell you what. Let's go right here, first and foremost. When you're an item out here, Sag, yeah. Sad boy hours out there. I just realized something. I have a shield. How did I not know this? How do I not remember that I have a shield? Anyway. Why isn't my character naked? I kind of wish that um, the thing that goes around the neck for the profit robe was the headpiece. So I could just leave that on. I don't want to be naked. But I will. I will be. I want the toilet seat cover on. Yeah, see, exactly. Um, isn't there something up to my left? Yep. This should be a starlight shard, right? Yep. Very good. I'm a gamer. This should be a scroll of some kind, right? Yep. Still a gamer. Down here in a chest should be a shield of some kind, right? No, it's the Great Epe. The other one, the other camp is what has the shield. That's right. Which also reminds me, I forgot the lance as well. We can grab that stuff later. Hey. I've not even seen a god skin in this game yet today, and I'm already humming the song. Oh boy.
There it is. This should be a club. Yep. I remembered. We want to go up this way so we can get over to that bridge. There's a stone sword key over there I would still like to grab. Bloodhound Fang, I've already got it. You can see a boss guide for Radagon and Radabee Center Channel. Yeah, I don't have one. When I was making those guides, I wasn't very confident in my abilities against those guys, so I just never made one. I didn't make one for Melania at that time either. I just didn't have that same confidence as I do now against them. Yo, VG Hack with the Twitch Prime. What up, dude? Leave the Prime, man. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing great. What you doing? Just vibing. What you doing? Thanks, Cozenero. Yo, thanks, Soggy Peets. After watching for months, I finally decided to buy the game. First Souls game, but I'm loving it. Keep it up. Yo, that's awesome, man. Have a great time with it. That's sick. Mighty shot is mighty useless. say your voice is so calming i'm glad you think so man now hold on hold that thought i gotta sneeze on this guy for a few minutes Okay, sir. Can you chill with that? Hey, do we have a mod here that can kill off that command on Nightbot on uh, Twitch? Thank you, Elgernon. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Are those white marks the result of a bad bikini wax? No, they're the result of zero waxing ever in the history of ever. Jen. Yeah, thank you, Elder Dan. Got out from under your comfy blanket for that? Hey, I appreciate you doing so, man. I don't know if this bird's gonna spawn. It's... Yeah, let me go change it to night again. I'm glad you think so, Claire. Thank you.
Poin, 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 poin. Yo, guys, reminder, Dragon's Dogma 2 on the 22nd. I'll be playing the heck out of that game. I'm excited. Over here for it. Would be sick. Would be sick. The damn bird lived. Holy there, guy. What are you doing? Was he shooting at me the whole time? All right, I need 16 strength for that to wield properly. I mean, shit, it looks cool. All right, we got that done. Let's go back here. Uh, Jeff, we're just kind of winging it on this build, man. I don't have anything specific planned right now. Just kind of winging it. Oh, hi, Dobby. Oh, hi. Wing hit, but not using Wing of Estelle or Wing Scythe. Yeah. Sorry about that. Nimrod, thank you for 19 months. Welcome to the Wheel of Fortune. Joosh, tell them what they can win. These nuts. Thanks for 19, man. Hell yeah, Jeff. Love to hear it, man. You going to pick up a slew of cool weapons, spells, and incantations? Yes. Yes, indeed. Many people have said you knew the DLC release date in advance and deliber deliberately kept it hidden. Nah. Many people have not said this. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing about that. My guess was end of February or beginning of March. That was my guess of when the when it would come out. And that didn't happen. So while you claim that many people have said this, USS Alpha, many people have also not said this. In fact, I would say many more people have indeed not said this. Thoughts? Questions? Concerns? Yeah, it was hidden in Armored Core 6. 621, man. This whole time. June 21st, 621. Wild. Insane. Oh, you know what? We can get Flame of the Frenzy up here. Flame of the Frenzy. My concern is that my best days are behind me and I'll die alone full of regrets. Wow. That, <laughs> that's not where I expect the conversation to turn, Elgernon. Are you okay? Are you okay, man? 
I'm here. Let me take this. Thank you very much. Also going to swing over here. Don't mind me. Just going to grab this big golden cup. Thank you. There's a shield around here somewhere. In one of these shacks. There it is. Thank you very much. And then we got to do some chaotic shit. You know, this way. Got to keep you on your toes. Oh, my toes are... Uh, uh, I was going to say, I'm, I'm on my toes right now. That's what I'm trying to say. But words are hard. Oh, stop it. There it is. There's lightning strike. Very good. If I die, I die. It's fine. Can you guys maybe, like, not for a minute? No, like, that was a big no from that guy. Okay. How do I drop down here without dying? Any knowers? It's got to be on the other side. It has to be here. It's the only way. There it is. I found it. Don't worry. Had to start a frenzy playthrough and ran for Vikes War Spirit. Thing is sick. Yeah, that weapon is pretty damn strong. It's pretty good. It's too bad Maz Madness isn't more usable, but it's still pretty good. What the? Oh, just chop him, man. Just chop him. Oh, you know what, guys? For science, I've been wanting to know the answer to this question for so long. I'm going to see if I die by dropping here. I shouldn't. Yeah. So this whole time, on all of my deathless runs, I could have just skipped so much by dropping there and not even thinking twice about it. Okay. Or I'm just going to die. You know, that's cool, too. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. I have an arrow in my skull. How can I live this? Okay. But if you thought about not hitting me. Good lord. Okay, so maybe it was a good thing that I didn't just drop down there previously. <laughs> so now that I've experienced that, maybe it's a good thing. You should use a rainbow stone to test the drop. See, here's the thing. I have done that before, and some of you may recall this, but when I was doing my deathless only runs, one of my deaths was due to gravity. Where I used one of those stones, and the stone told me that I would survive. 
The stone landed nice and safe, but when I dropped on the same exact spot, I died. So unfortunately, I think it's a little bit misleading. We should say madness isn't usable. You can only cause the uh, the frenzy effect against tarnished, meaning like NPC invaders. Say people like uh, like Moongrum or Vike himself, uh, Bernal, like the people that invade your world or are tarnished themselves, are the only people that can actually have that effect for that extra little bit of damage and the uh, the free stun. It doesn't affect other enemies at all. Unfortunately. Any bosses that are tarnished um a dawn thief of fire comes to mind then there's vike at the ever jail in uh, the mountaintops i can't think of any others off the top of my head but there might be more patches yeah i guess patches would be tarnished SGO, start getting it off near you. Yep, yep. True. So while there are some bosses that it, it will be usable against, the majority of enemies in the game, it just they will not be affected by that. But it does do fire damage. So, I mean, it has that bonus going on anyway. That extra fire damage is kind of nice. Does it work against the Mimic? I would think so, but I'm not totally sure. Horalu. Horalu is not a Tarnished. He's a leader of the Tarnished, but he himself is not Tarnished. At least not by programming design. Lore-wise, he may be. But as a boss, no, he is not Tarnished and therefore not affected by Flame of the Frenzy. Build the up plan for the prep run. We're just kind of winging it, Puck. We're just kind of winging it. Ensha, yeah, Ensha is tarnished, but not a boss. He is an invader, though. Okina, yep, Okina should work against Okina just fine, Kira. Welcome back. You know what's crazy, guys? And this is actually really comforting. We have more people here checking out a casual run of this game than we usually do at the beginning of a game for a deathless run. That is interesting to me. Interesting to me. Death Blight and Flame of the Frenzy are my favorites. Yeah, they're really cool effects, man. I wish they were more usable against, like, basic enemies and whatnot. I understand why Death Blight isn't, because it's an insta-kill, you know? I get it. But I feel like they could translate it in some way to make it so it just does, like, a chunk of damage, like Bleed or something instead. Or maybe some other effect, like maybe... Oh, I don't know. Maybe it can, like, uh apply a damage over time like poison does or it can just slow their movements something i feel like it could be adapted in some way also guys look look at the name of this catacomb okay look at the name of this catacombs right here yeah 
Impaler's Catacombs. We all know that the big boss of the, the expansion, the DLC, is called Mesmer the Impaler. And the way From Software does lore, there's got to be some tie to this catacombs. We just don't know what at this time. Ow. What a jerk that guy is. Coincidence, it's just these spikes, traps in this one. Here's the thing, though. It's called impalers with an apostrophe, meaning owned by something. And it's not impaled. It's not not apostrophe. You see what I'm saying? Plus, this trap exists in more than just this dungeon anyway. It's in a few throughout the entire game. Hope you're right, but I think it's just a coincidence in this case. I'm kind of thinking that maybe there's going to be some change to this dungeon after the expansion comes out. I think there'll be something more here. From Software doesn't really deal too often in coincidences. Something else you have to keep in mind is all the lore for the expansion already existed before this game even came out. They specifically withheld certain portions of the lore and overall game for the expansion itself. Which means that they would have to have Mesmer the Impaler as an existing entity and make this dungeon and then just allow that to be coincidental before the game is even released while they're fin finalizing the lore and everything. Nah, there's just no way. All right, Dano, how are you, man? I drank the wrong juice. Doki. Need a little more strength. I need my strength to at least 16 here. 
There is no plan build, Ian. We're just kind of winging it, man. Is Mesmer based on Vlad the Impaler? I don't know. The current thought is that Mesmer the Impaler might be responsible for all the Impaled Giants bodies in the mountaintops as well. If that's the case, it's a different type of Impaled, right? Similar enough, though. I mean, it's just bodies on spikes, essentially. But I don't know if they drew inspiration from that or what. Bonk. Hey, Vasto. This new game plus? Nope, new game. All right, what all do we have down here? We have a couple sacred tears. I got to pick up the lantern. There's the winged scythe. Selen's body. What else is down here? You still play Elden Ring after 20 years? No. There is more games coming to my channel pretty soon, if that's what you're really asking here. If you look at the pinned comment, you'll see that there's some more games coming real soon. Dragon's Dogma on the 22nd. Eclipse Sunshield, is that a farmed item or a picked up item? you. All my homies hate pages. What up, Delta Boss? Where do you get Catch Flame from? If you start as Profit, you start with it autom automatically, or when you go to the Round Table Hold for the first time, you can purchase it from the Profit there. What's his name? Starts with a C, I think. I can't remember his name. You already created your Dragon's Dogma 2 character and Pawn of the Creator demo? No, not yet. Very good curved sword drop, as in a picked up item or a farmed item next to the church. It's been a while since I've really looked for everything, so some things I just don't know where they are. Corin, yes, Corin is the name. Has George R. R. Martin had a handle the DLC story? Yes. But again, the entire story was written before, you know, the game was actually developed. Uh, 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 
It'll do no good. I swear it. She's a little angry right now. Hey, Edward. Oh, God. I was looking at chat. Oi. I'm gonna go down here and grab the uh, lantern from this guy real quick too. The mighty big arrow in my chest. The way he says that is kind of creepy. Have a safe journey. It depends on the environment, Ilger. It's not universally true. Some studios don't have any plans for DLC, and then they'll see the game being successful, and then they're like, okay, well, I guess we'll plan DLC then. And so, therefore, what they write for the DLC was not planned ahead of time. Sometimes they'll have cut content as well, and they'll throw in that cut content as expansion content. If the game happens to do well as well. But again, it's all environmental. Uh, every studio does things a little bit differently. This DLC with From Software was planned from the very beginning. My dude really just used Golden Bow. My guy. Some mushies. Dude, I hate these dragonfly things so much. You mother bitch. Now, what is this thing? How do I... Well, it's gone now. I can't remember how I get that. If it even is something to get. Star Wars Squadron got a Clone Wars DLC. Would have gave the game so much more life. Yeah, I feel like their plans for that game were pretty short-lived to begin with, though. Like, I think they wanted it to be successful. They were hoping it would be, but they ended up not being so successful. But I think a lot of that is just overall, it just wasn't as full-fledged as people were thinking it was going to be. Can you stop throwing fire? I 
I dislike you. That guy just rolled out. Just an HP beetle ball. All right. Well, that's not of any use. Hello, tree man. Nice roll, dude. All right, give me your halberd right now. Come here. Put the halberd in the bag. No halberd. Sad. Understand devs talking about Star Wars is too risky. That's why Star Wars FPS from Respawn was canceled. Too risky. It can be seen as risky and safe depending on the actual project itself. For example, I would say. I would say, um, what is it? The other Respawn game. They have two of them now. The one we play is Cal Kestis. I would say those are pretty safe bets. As far as like an action adventure thing where you play like a an up-and-coming Jedi you know that thing seems like a pretty safe bet for a game but then there's other projects like I would say Star Wars Outlaw is a lot riskier because it has nothing to do with Jedi you're playing just a scoundrel essentially which, don't get me wrong, Scoundrel is a big part of the whole idea. I mean, here's looking at, uh... Fuck, I can't think of his name. Harrison Ford's character. I'm drawing a blank on it just now. Oh my god! Why is everything going so nuts in this playthrough? Like, everything just seems so much more aggressive. What the shit, man? Think we'll ever get a wretch no level run? No, I have no interest in doing a no level run. <laughs> that just doesn't seem fun to me. Han Solo, yeah, Han Solo. But I would say that's a little bit riskier than the usual Star Wars stuff. Thank you. Dude, you're on the wall. Are you kidding me? Oh, come on. Get out of here with that. What do you think about the great sword? Have you tried to play with it? Yeah, it's okay. It's a fun weapon. When it comes to large swords like that, though, I think I would just prefer the claymore, straight up. Forgot I skipped this as well, but I don't think there's anything big. Yeah. We'll 
What's up, Don? These skeletons are so hyper aggressive, man. It's wild. How's it going, Mystique? Understandable, it's not as bad as it sounds. Yeah. I just don't have interest, man. this run. No, I don't have interest in that either. I'm glad that reached. Run, 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 run. Ah, damn it. Right in the hammy. Ah! Yeah, that reach is always much more than I think it is. Come on, man. Give me the combo. Okay. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Onyx eyes. So let's make a boss that's just a thousand dragonflies. Miyazaki, probably. You know, let's just make a boss that's a thousand dragonflies. Why not? How does Miyazaki sleep at night? Oh, Miyazaki goes to bed and has wonderful dreams. Don't you doubt it. Either that or some of the most twisted, fucked up dreams imaginable. Because look at all the stuff in this game. Man has nonstop fever dreams of some of the most twisted things. Was more OP at the start, magic or bleed? Bleed. Burn him.
Wonder how so many people are fine with you doing the same exact thing a hundred times. LOL, no hate. I'm not doing the same thing, though. I'm playing the same game, sure, but the same thing a hundred times? No. For the deathless runs, I mean, it took me 38 attempts. That's not a hundred. I mean, shit, even that with all my previous playthroughs ain't even a hundred. But I know that's just semantics. I know what you're saying, overall. But at the end of the day, it's largely to blame on just how YouTube recommends content to people. When I play other games, it's not recommended to nearly as many people, which is why I'm going to bring this up again. If you want to see me play other games, make sure you show up for other games. Because otherwise, YouTube will not recommend my channel when I play other games. The way YouTube works, think of it as like a crowdfunded project. It will not be successful unless people pitch in. In this case, it's just, you, you know, pitching in your time. Come to the channel, watch my streams, watch my videos, leave likes and comments. And then boom, YouTube will help me out. YouTube will help me grow my channel more. So Joe, if you want to see more things, make sure you show up for more things. Easy as. Turn on the nightlight for this. Hell yeah. I missed. that it just kind of sucks up their soul. Your soul is mine. Hey, Chalk Fan, how have you been? Current build is Faith, Strength with God Slayer's Greatsword, Black Flame Incantations, Beat Moog today for the first time. Nice. Came for the DLC? Very cool, dude. Very cool. Love to see it. Stop the charging. I love how I asked it to stop the charging and it just did it again. Hey, Bents. Are the Deathbird's axe from the peninsula? Yes, hey, man. Yep. Let's get back out there. Some more stuff in the area we can grab. I think this would be great for you, but yeah, I don't get notified for some reason unless you're playing this. Yeah, that's because, you know, um, YouTube does recommendations based on stuff that you watch. But if you enjoy my content overall and you want to see more from me, then you have to manually go to my channel and check st some more stuff out in the future. It's just how it works. Obviously, most people here that uh, are here for just Elden Ring are here for just Elden Ring. And that's just what they want to see all the time. And that's that. That's just the nature of it. But there are other people that are here for Elden Ring that say that they don't get recommended my other stuff and they want to, but they just, they only get recommended my Elden Ring stuff and therefore they think that they only play Elden Ring stuff. Like there's a lot of people here right now that had no idea that I streamed the last two days a different game. 
And that's just the reality of it. I played um, a good amount. I played like nine or ten hours total over the past couple of days of Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. Which is a lot like Vampire Survivors, so a lot of people would probably enjoy that type of gameplay, but they just did not get recommended it. You know? It's just the nature of it. What up, Evan? There's the Faith Knots. I could throw that on, that'll be good. I'm not sure, Bents. I'm not really doing it by level, though. I know there's another shield down here. Hey, thanks, Jehudi. I appreciate it, man. I need to notify me. It's just the way it goes. If you really want to get recommended my stuff on the regular, you have to go to my channel a lot on the regular. And trust me when I say, I'm not doing this from a perspective of like, oh, woe is me. I'm doing fine. But a lot of people keep saying that they don't get recommended my content, and it's because they aren't actually going to my channel enough for YouTube to, to consider recommending them more of my content. It's just the way it is. It's both good and bad at the same time. It's just how it works. else down here? What are your thoughts on next dragon? Oh, what about words? What are your thoughts on Dragon's Dogma 2 Exploration World? Be like Elden Ring? I don't know if it'll be as expansive as Elden Ring. Um, from my memory of Dragon's Dogma 1, it does have a lot of, like, linear linearness to it, so... I don't expect it to be Elden Ring-esque at all. It doesn't mean that there's not going to be exploration. There certainly will be. It'll just have its own way of going about it, right? Is there anything important that I missed down here, guys? Aside from Castle Morn? Right on, hey man. Have I played Steel Rising? I have. I started a few hours ago, really enjoying it so far. When it first came out, it was kind of rough as far as performance goes. But I did enjoy it overall. <laughs> You're good, Jack. If you subscribe and enable all notifications, you get the four hour pre stream notifications. Not always true. I've actually experimented a lot with this myself. It just depends on your own level of activity on YouTube in general. But what YouTube will do and how notifications work is when I go live, it doesn't send out 52,000 recommendations all at once. What they'll do is this, they'll send out like 50 recommendations. And depending on the actual percentage of recommendations that people actually click on, say if you get like push notifications on your phone, if you click on the notification, YouTube will say, hey, that was a positive response, so let's send out more notifications. But if you say swipe away the notification, that's actually damaging to the whole process. That makes it so YouTube thinks, oh, this guy doesn't want to see this guy's content nearly as much as we thought, so we're going to slowly stop recommending. That's how that works. If YouTube were to send out notifications for every subscriber on every channel, there would be basically, it would get bogged down so much it would become worthless anyway. So they have to do it in waves.
Oh, dude, you're right, Laura. I did forget the poison cave. Right. Oh, shit, my mind just blanked. Yeah, it's like right there. What's up, Kasienka? Nice. Not sure why I'm killing these guys, but, you know, here we are. And one more strength would make killing these guys so much easier. <laughs> yeah, they clearly haven't seen anything Warhammer than Delta. <laughs> What's up, Jules? How's it going? Crazy how you get 700 viewers with 50k subs, even when people with 1 million views... 1 million subs only get 100 viewers when live. But there's also the adverse effect, right, Merlin's Beard, where those same people that have millions of subs will often get hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of views on their videos, where I often struggle to even get to five digits, right? So it's like the adverse effect. <laughs> that was kind of cool. type of run this is, is this it's just a casual playthrough trying to get uh, the majority of items through the game making a character that is very well prepped for the dlc when it comes out what is that blue after they die um i'm absorbing fp i get four fp every time an enemy dies near me So yeah, to basically cap off this conversation, it's just a matter of why why a lot of people tune in for my Elden Ring stuff, but I'll, I'd say about half do for my other stuff. It's just because the way YouTube sends out recommendations for recommendations and notifications for other content. It's just the way it works. That's just the system. It's not a bad thing, per se. It's just the way it works. Once I get into expanding more of what I do again, YouTube will get better about it over time. No, oh, there's the Iron Cleaver. We got that. It's the weapon, Sneakerson. Sacrificial Axe. As you can see, the power of the right yet lingers. A small amount of FP is restored upon slaying a foe. You get it from the Death Right. I'm sorry, the Death Bird in Weeping Peninsula when you kill it. Should have enough to get this last bit of strength I need to be able to wield this one-handed.
Damn, that is right in my upper spine. What the hell, man? It's kind of messed up. What's the best weapon in the game? I'm of the opinion the best weapon in the game is the Bloodhound Fang. Alright, that part's done. I missed. Miss! Elven Ring Spinal Tap, yes. Second best weapon in the game? Probably Blasphemous Blade. Are you okay on keyboard and mouse? I play majority of stuff on keyboard and mouse, yeah. Welcome back, Blue. I miss anything awesome? Oh, you missed me ranting a little bit about how YouTube fails to recommend my content to more people when I'm not playing Elden Ring. <laughs> Third best weapon in the game? Uh, as much as I don't like it, possibly Moonvale. Keyboard mushroom. I'm playing on a controller right now, Tanner. I'm playing on a controller right now, but I do play majority of what I play on PC, yeah. Oh, you know what? I forgot about Dark Moon Greatsword. I would I would say Dark Moon Greatsword is better than Moonvale. I would say Dark Moon Greatsword is third best. But again, it depends on your definition of like what's best. Are we talking like the weapon stats? Are we talking like the Ash of War that's that's on there? For the unique weapons, you know what I mean? It just depends on your personal definition at the end of the day. I don't know why I constantly forget Dark Moon Greatsword exists. It's such a good weapon. Slice them up. The whip. And parry buckler's the best. I do enjoy a good parry. That's very cool, Edward. Good stuff, man. I didn't mean to upset the jellies, dude. 
Is there any items of importance down here? I know there are some items, but are they important? Are they any good? Are they of any value? No, ultimately, guys, in order for me to really expand what I want to do on my channel, I just have to get started. I just have to do it, which I am doing soon. So no worries. At the end of the day, I've played a lot of different things on my channel and it's worked out fine so far. So I just got to trust that it keep keep on will keep on keeping on. Words are hard. Yeah, I got the whip. Yeah. <laughs> Sneakers in you. I mean, that is what some people do. But like Miss Bradica said, I'm just not that guy to do that type of stuff. What up, J Mobile? I'll likely include more like indie stuff like that in the future, Richard. Yeah. You enter any competitions in Elden Ring? Nah. Okay. Can anyone in chat name any one item that I might might have missed in Weeping Peninsula? I think I got pretty much everything. What was that shield that you mentioned earlier, Corn? if you're still here? Where is that? Let me go get this uh, flower real quick as well. I have the winged scythe. We got that. Poison mist? I did not get that. Good call. Remind me after this dungeon. That's over by the swamp in a scarab, right? Oh, you know what would be kind of fun? Make a poison build and use poison fl uh, poison flight moth. Or poison mi moth flight, rather. That's That Ash of War is actually sick. It deals poison damage itself, but it does a huge burst of damage if you use it on an enemy that is poisoned. So you apply poison and then hit them with that, and it just does a whole bunch. It's like a... It's almost like proccing a mark of something. It's pretty cool. I kind of wish there was more things like that in, uh, in this game, where you, like, do build-up of some kind. And then if you use the right ability... When there's a bunch of, like, build-up, then all of a sudden it just does amplified damage. That'd be pretty interesting to see. Turtle, I did get the turtle shield. We're good there as well. I got the memory stone there. Got the shield that's over there. Got the thing from the demi-human coin as well. Come on, Godskin Duel, what's an easy way to melt those fools with a samurai build? Use sleep pots. Use sleep pots or St. Trina's sword or something to put them to sleep, and then you can just kind of 
once they're down and out, you can just like really go hard on attacking them. Also, another tip for Godskin Duo that a lot of people don't know is even after they die, you can keep hitting them and dealing damage to the actual boss health bar. You can keep hitting them until their body completely vanishes, so when they die, just keep hitting them a few times. Get some free damage in. Alright, there's Poison Mist. Yeah, it's like four kings all over again with the keep hitting them tactic, yep. Yeah. Very similar. I can't think of anything else here, so I guess we're just gonna go. Is there anything else important in Limgrave? I did get the Twin Blade. I have spoken to Selen already. Let me go speak with Selen again. I don't think we can actually do more of our quest until I get Combat Azor over in Mount Galmir anyway, but let's just take a look. Young, you are a top so now. Yeah, we can't actually speak with her yet. Talismans. I mean, we still have Stormvale Castle to check out, and there's some stuff there, like the Claws and Claw Talisman and some other stuff, too. So we're going to go there, too, in a moment, but we've gotten pretty much everything important. Karian Slicer Scroll. That should be the Royal House Scroll, right? Oh, you know what? Um, yeah, Bach. We got Bach business. What? What was I just... I forgot to grab something just now. Never mind, I was just speaking to Selen. What does the finger seal do? Uh, seals allow you to cast incantations. Similar idea to a staff for sorceries. What up, Robert? How you doing? Spell Drake. Where do you get the spell Drake talisman? Where is that? We're just playing it by ear, Abdul. There is no specified build right now. I already have it, do I? Oh, you're right, I do. I never use it, so I just don't remember ever grabbing it, to be honest. Trusted Anchor, I've got that.
do 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 do. Now I did this. Don't remember talking to the person at the start. Uh, that's Bach. You have to find him for him to appear there. Rainbow stones. Faith scarab hat. Ooh, I don't have that. Where do I get that? I can't remember. Wow. I remember when I first found this island in my very first playthrough, I was absolutely blown away. Like, holy shit, that's how you get out here. That's so sick. Because I saw these ruins out here when I was, you know, going out on the beach. Like, huh, there's something over there, but there's no clear way to get over there right now. Until I went through the dungeon. Oh, what do you guys say we commune with the dragon a little bit here? Let's get a uh, dragon claw. Why not? Om nom nom nom. Scarab hat from the painter guy near hole and buy some grave sites. Can't remember where that is. Is it the painter guy quest? It might be. I remember stumbling upon it in my first playthrough as well. The scarab thing. I can't remember where the hell it is. Yeah, we were talking about how Miyazaki said that he's, you know, they're scaling the DLC differently. Southwest of Dragonburnt Ruins. All right. <laughs> you can make it. <laughs> Two painters in Limgrave. I know of... It's time to castle if you one specifically but there's another painting in stormvale i can't remember where that one leads you though i'd have to see the image i can't recall you've already got the large club I'm going the wrong way. I'm thinking southwest from where I am. Here he is. That's the painting essentially right there, by the way, that we found earlier. And there's the incantation scarab. Reduces FP cost of incantations, but increases damage taken. Ah, yes. I like that the wings flap. Look at that. The wings flap, dude. Anyway, this is a different playthrough, Brian. What up, Ken? How you doing, huh? I 
Yeah, the wings have jiggle physics, that's true. Oh, you know what I forgot as well? The uh, thing in the stranded graveyard. There's some cool stuff to do down there too. We'll do that after we kill Margit. Before I fight Margit though, let me fix my flask. All right, here's the deal, Margit. You're not going to kill me, okay? You're not going to kill me outright. You're going to let me kill you. Cool. Can't wait. See you there, buddy. Come on, then. Very cool. Very cool, very nice. I don't think that affects magic damage. Or fire, rather. Guess we'll go Scar Seal. Whatever. Where do you have this mask? If you rewind the stream just a couple minutes, you'll see where I got it. There's a location on the map right over here called Artist Shack. There's a painting in that shack that you need to go to. You go there, you look at the painting, and then you go down here. A little bit down here, and you'll find a, pa a painter up here. And you just kind of pick up the item after it drops it. Hey, Laura. Forgive me to see when it seems torrent, whereas I'm in there is, but I can take you to Those wings are flapping in the wind. Very well at my hand. I just remembered I forgot one of the death birds as well. I killed the one in Weeping Peninsula, but not in the northern area of Limgrave. We can go do that real fast too. Hello, Corin. Welcome to I teach and explore so that one ensuring by the way. You do most time you are well. Do, do, do. May the golden... Don't need any of the other spells right now. You'll no matter how you. How do you get the mix flask? To get the flask, you have to go over here to the Third Church of Marika. You'll find it there. And then you have to go around the world and find a whole bunch of different uh, tiers and stuff like that you can put into it. Hey, what up, Corin? Hey, we have a Corin in chat and a Corin in the game. Pog. All right, let's get the death bird. I did get the knight's cav in uh, Weeping Peninsula, yeah. I did indeed get him. All 
Why do I smell that sh thing on? Very cool. I like it. Get my axe on. You mother bitch. Come here. Oh, we took care of that. There's also a knight's cav right there I forgot to kill, so let's go take care of him too. And then we'll go underneath and get the ulcerated tree spirit. And clear out that dungeon overall. There's some stuff down there we can grab. Do I have a bow? I don't have a bow. I'm gonna have to buy one from uh, Round Table real quick. Yes, you can access the DLC in New Game Plus when it comes out. I'm on PC, Shane. The only time I don't play PC is if the game that I'm playing at that time is exclusive to something else. What's up, Omni Loser? There's a somber stone over here I didn't grab as well. Yoinky. Yeah, I've already got the bell bearing hunter. He's already dead. Give myself a little immunity so I don't get poisoned. We'll just stop here. What am I doing to prepare for the DLC? Grabbing all the items in the game that are of any importance whatsoever. All, you know, all the weapons, armors, stuff like that. All the spells across the board. All the good stuff. Oh, son of a bitch. All right. Nah, Corrin, it's not a challenge run of any kind, man. What type and size of monitor do you play on? Would not prefer gaming on a large 4K TV? No, I find monitors to be superior to TVs. I have a Samsung G7. 27 inch, 1440p, 240 hertz. The big issue with TVs is they have a generally higher response time, which isn't so great for gaming.
The lower the response time, the better, because that means that things will be attributed to your reactions that much better, too. You know, son of a bitch, I never went to get the bow. Hold on. Came down here, forgot to get the bow. I did get poison mist, yeah. You have the bow, yet no arrows. Interesting. I've got some arrows, though. We're good. I do have the scar seal. I'm wearing it right now, and I'm pretty sure I grabbed the steel wire torch. Yeah, I've got that, too. You can see the scar seal right there. What up, Jean-Philippe? I'm sure I'll get a 4K monitor eventually, as my PC can play games in 4K, but I would rather a little bit higher frames for most games. Like, it's fine if it's locked at 60, but if it's multiplayer, then I definitely need higher than that. I'm just waiting for monitors that are 4K and 240 hertz to be a little bit more available and affordable. How's my French going? I haven't practiced French in a long time, man. Nice. Oh, I hate that 180 stoppage, dude. <laughs> when you do a quick 180 and it just makes your character stop moving for a moment, that's the worst. What do great runes do? You can use them for uh, bonuses and your stats and whatnot. You activate them by equipping them at a slate of grace and then using a rune arc, and it'll give you whatever benefit is tied to that specific great rune. Saved. Now we have to see if we can actually kill this halberd guy. These banished knights with the halberds are kind of insane. Like I said, kind of insane. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Oh, he just fell. That's huge. Never mind. He teleported back up. That's not huge. That's not very nice of you, bud. 
I forgot they teleport shit, man. That still hit me. That's insane. Get out of the way. You motherfucker. There. I missed. Not that time. <laughs> the ledge tech, dude. <laughs> he does have the ledge tech. <laughs> it looked like I had the ledge tech for a minute, but it turns out he knew what he was doing the whole time. My man knew. Okay, now, we're going to go back up here to get all my resources back, and then we're going to go down. There's a few more things to grab. Dude, I would love to get the Banished Knight moveset. That would be so cool. I've wanted that since the very beginning. I completely agree. But the Great Bow, yes, is the Erdtree Great Bow. And now we don't have to worry about the chariot down here ever again. Which is quite nice, to be honest. Now. Oh, he's got the glowy eyes, too. Only 840 runes for that, even though he had glowy eyes? I'm a little upset. I thought he would have had extra runes for me, but my life is a lie. Excuse me, guys. I gotta go. I'm on official ulcerated tree spirit business now. There's a lot of cool secrets in the game, Laura. Is the Nagakiba good? Yeah, it's alright. It does pretty well. No, I don't have 20 strength, Richard. I don't think I have the dexterity either.
Vanish Knight Oleg. What do you mean my prep for DLC? What is this playthrough for? It is to go around gathering a bunch of the items so that way when the DLC comes out, which will inevitably have new weapons, armors, and spells, we'll be able to build into using any of them that I want to as soon as the DLC comes out and I find said items. So that way we can experiment and use all sorts of new things immediately. No matter what our build is. Which means we got to go around gathering every single larval tier that I can find as well. Moog is weak to blood, but there is a trade-off to it, Mason. Come over it. I... It's tight. Oh. What I mean by this is he's not just universally taking damage for free. Whenever he bleeds, he gets a 20% damage buff. So he hits you that much harder if you bleed him. Well, but of course. Dude, there's 18 tiers in the game per playthrough. I thought it was like 23 or something, but I know there's a good amount. I just want the item, man. Thank you. Glad to have you for a crime robot. Who the fuck? Okay, that guy is throwing fire at me. I gotta go. Redo. Redo. Can't be having this fire shit. One new game plus are you on my main? I don't have a main. I guess this character will become my main. I have 30 total characters, and it's only because I've had to delete dozens and dozens to, you know, go through other playthroughs. But I've never had a singular main character. That's never been a thing for me. So got Donatello. Yeah, that's an Xbox character. Actually, I haven't loaded up my Xbox in a damn long time now. There's just been no need because all the games that release on Xbox are also on PC. Damn jerk. You turn the other way. Not cool, man. Come here. Yo, we got the golems, Halbert. I don't even have to farm it. Let's go. <laughs> Love getting those rare drops without trying. Love that for us.
Easy find. Am I gonna run a quality build for the DLC? I have no idea, man. We're just kind of freeing it right now. I have no specific plan build at this moment. We're just kind of going on a whim. Going from there. No, Emmer, I never did. It's a good rune farm besides the one in Mogwin Dynasty. Um, killing bosses. You get plenty and plenty of runes from just killing bosses. Unless you're trying to get like a max level character, I just think that rune farming is not necessary. Meanwhile, another timeline, you're still farming those damn pants. I know, dude. The, the uh, Black Flame Monk ones. Jesus. I hate these birds. What up into hizzy? There's nothing down here on this side. Forgot to go down the front end of the other side too, but I don't think there's anything like majorly important down there. Any tips for someone who's about to restart Elden Ring after abandoning it 26 hours and over a year ago? The thing is, Jeremy, is this game is meant to be tough. It's designed specifically to challenge the player. And the only way to overcome that challenge is by spending the time learning the game. If you find something that frustrates you, you just kind of have to learn how to get around it. The best way to learn is just putting yourself out there and uh, experimenting, doing different things, seeing what works for you, what doesn't. Going to find, you know, new items that are all spread out along along the entire world. There's all sorts of stuff out there. It can get annoying and tedious and even frustrating and rage-inducing. But the best thing to do is just stick to your ground and just keep trying. Try not to get mad. If you die, use it as a learning moment. You're meant to die. If you die, consider it as something that you made a mistake on, and you need to do better next time. So try not to let it get to you. Don't let it get under your skin. Just understand that it's inevitable. You will die. You will die a lot. It's just part of the game. It's part of the entire process of learning. Just try to get through it. Because I'll be honest, when it comes to Elden Ring and other Souls likes in general, when you do complete big things, it is extremely gratifying. There's not a lot of games that give you that feeling like these games do. When you do something big, you feel it. You feel like you've earned it, which is awesome. Did this you just parry a bird? Yes, you can parry birds. Oh. 
the double bird parry. Not only do you parry one bird, but you parry two. I didn't notice. Did I get their sword? I did not. They actually dropped the, uh, the sword on their feet. They have a chance to. So I wanted to come over and kill them all. See if I could grab one, but I guess not. Well, there you go, Steez. Now you have. Speaking of dragon spell, let me put on... Oh, I can't actually use that yet. All right, let's get the uh, tail out then. It's time to tail whip. You see, first I tail whip, and then I nay nay. Okay, you can ban me for saying that? That was so cringe. doesn't know. He doesn't know a man hides behind the box. The claw! Thank you, Screamer. I deserve this. We got the weather straight sword. I think I already had one though. Some sleepy man arrows. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing about this door. Because I did not kill Gostock. He's going to lock me in here, so I'm a little scared. I'm a wee bit scared here. <laughs> oh, I disagree with that. First time I played, thought it was Patches locking me in there. Yeah, there's still people today that think that it's Patches responsible for that. And it makes sense because that matches up with his whole MO, you know? 
but it is indeed not Patches this whole time. I don't think there's anything else of any value down here. I know there's some stuff on the side, but I don't think it's anything good. I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. Yes. Hey, Vertex, how you doing? Hammer. The brick hammer. Now that item over there, how the hell do I get that? I can't recall. I can't even recall what that item is. Does anyone know what that item is? Because I do not remember. Did I play God of War? I did. I've got God of War 2018 playlist on my channel, as well as a God of War Valhalla playlist on my channel. Use the hammer? I can. Requires like 50 strength or something wild like that. Probably a rune arc, yeah, it's probably a rune arc. <laughs> or yeah, the uh, the leaves, dude. Yeah, I'm not remembering how to get that item at all. Nah, Zog, nah. It is Gostick himself. He's a mischievous little man. The reason why I know that for sure is because if you leave Gostick alive but kill Patches earlier, it still happens. Try to dodge and I failed. Thanks, Arn. Yeah, Catch Flame is incredibly strong. Nothing over there. Your thorough killing patches first to test. Well done. Yeah. So for the longest time, I thought it was patches too. It's a long fall. Give me the controller, I'll get it. All right, sure.
Uh, let me grab this side of grace. You get that item, go back to where you saw the item, walk left, go outside, then drop down to the right, and you walk up a ladder that takes you there. I disagree. I rolled that last part. Here's the thing, though, RP. Do you know what that item is? You say you know how you how, you know how to get it, but what is it? Is it worth getting? Because if it's not worth it, then why bother? I was hoping the tail would knock him down, but it didn't. Bro, this halberd! <laughs> my runes! Gostuk is stealing my runes! Arteria leaves? Okay, it's worthless then. Motherfuck, dude. Yeah, so I just lost half my runes because Gostek. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Inconceivable. Up. I just had an idea. I had a brain moment. Please wait. You and Decent gonna head off to bed though, since I have to be up in six hours. All right, Vertex, have a good night, man. Just wanted to come by and say hi. I appreciate you doing so, buddy. Thank you for stopping through. It's big brain time. What? Oh, I tried to shoot it out of his hand. Um, yeah, good misses. Surprise! Alright. Time to go say hello to our friend Crucible Knight. As well as uh, one of the, what is it, the wooden barbed shield or something? Marred wooden shield? Very good. I think it almost knocked me off the edge on accident. 
Catch one of the explosive barrels? No, I did that earlier. <laughs> Doing that once is fine. Another aspect incantation. Cool, man. This is the incantation scarab, Kamikaze. Oh, yeah. Stormfail is absolutely loaded with stuff, Mike. So much stuff here. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of fun doing uh, some different things that I haven't done in a while. I've actually never used this axe until now. At least, you know, for as extensively as I am now. It's been a while since I've used any incantations. Specifically damage incantations, that is. I don't think so, Baha. But we'll see what happens in the future. Okay. Okay, man. And it's such a weird damage fall off. Oh, I wanted to hit it in midair so bad. One of these days, I'll get it. One of these days. All right, Roger's in here. Speak to me, buddy. What's on your mind? Pleasures, I'm looking when I'm not hot, but enough about this place is not exactly a nice 306. Nice, you can see. It. Well, I'm tiny, but on still, I'm privy to would you care to learn as a fellow. To Why do I remember an item out here? I mean, it's clearly not, otherwise, I've seen it. Oh. A tragedy, to be sure. I just had a moment where I was like, I don't know if I want to dodge or try to parry this last spot, this last attack. So I pressed both. <laughs> yes, I know. The runes go missing because Gostek steals some. Yeah. That's okay. Who needs them? Assassino. that went better. Whoops. 
I sneezed. Some golden runes. Murder that guy to death real quick. It's fine. Another banished knight across the hall here. We're going to wait to uh, backstab this guy as well. I got a little crazy because I lost my lock on for some reason. This DLC? No. DLC's not out till June 21st. Oh boy. All right, that guy's real mad now. I think the item up here is just arrows, but I have to be sure. Pretty sure it's just 10 regular arrows. Yep. Yup. Nope, sound the alarm. Josh is here. Alert, alert. Oh, I wish the tail spell was a little better. Oh my god. Rats! Hate those guys. Boop. Alright, we're gonna get the uh, Black Flame stuff here. Godskin Prayer Book and the Black Flame Seal, whatever that's called. God's Layer Seal. That also makes sense. Sorry if you hear the neighbor's extremely awful sounding car. Dude, the neighbors have this car that they modded the hell out of. And it looks cool, but it sounds god awful. It just sounds so terrible. I'm not sure in what world they think that that sounds good. But they do. They think it sounds great. It's an aftermarket thing. It sounds terrible to me <laughs> and dad yeah daz agrees it really does sound awful yeah i just don't get it dude just kicked me right in the chest what the hell how dare yeah they do think it sounds great that's the thing <laughs> they do think it sounds great but it's just so bad I play Dune Awakening? I am planning on trying it, yes. Alright, the pike is out here somewhere.
Right here? Yep, there's the pike. I know there's more items down this way, but are they any good? Are they worth anything? Not as far as I can remember. Is it a brop, brop, brop sound? Yeah, but extremely high pitched and fast paced. Give me your souls. Oh, exile stuff. That's cool. Drip going crazy right now. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A painting. Settle down, sir. Settle down. <laughs> you forget how short range this axe is until you just try to do like a running R1. And it's just like, you almost trip over it. Those enemies don't drop that axe, do they? Never seen one drop it. Um, Are you talking about the large two-handed one? I do believe they do. I want to say I got one on one of my more recent playthroughs, actually. Nice, Pluto. That's awesome, man. Okay, we're going to go down all the way down that way, but there's still some stuff back here I want to get my hands on first. I know we have to get the giant to open that, but that's just some smithing stones. That's not so important right now. I don't have any heals right now either. Small problem. Have that, you schmuck. Yeah. Ain't like that. Hey, can you stop going that way? Let me just throw fireballs at you. you go to level up before coming to the castle um you can level up at any site of grace what do you mean after you speak to um melina for the first time you can just level up wherever man any site of grace Worth it. Where did you roam to get runes? I just went around killing all the bosses. Oh, 
Oh! Not the dog death! Please! Thank you. I mean, I don't, uh, I don't farm runes outside of just killing bosses. That's just how I do it. You think farming runes kills the game? If you do it before you complete your first playthrough, yeah. Yeah. But if you need to at the same time, like, I don't fault you for it. At the end of the day, my opinions don't matter. Let's go over here and grab all this business now. At the end of the day, you bought the game, or you got it as a gift or whatever, you can just play it how you want to, you know? That's what it all boils down to. Yo, Nathan, they're the $5, dude. AHL is more fun to watch than NHL. Agree or disagree? Go Hartford Wolfpack. I would say there's a good portion of the time, yeah. Yeah. I am of the opinion that there is no better hockey than NHL playoff hockey, though. NHL playoff hockey is on a whole different level from everything else. I like NHL playoff hockey more than I like Olympic hockey by a long shot. And outside of that, for like regular regular games, something you have to keep in mind is people in the AHL generally have a lot more to prove. They want to try to make it to the majors. A lot of them have that ambition, right? And you never know who's going to be watching what games. So they try to play their best a lot of the time. Um, what am I forgetting? Let's go back here. Oh, I got to go up. That's what I'm forgetting. There's a stone sword key and something else that I can't remember. Sadly, I'm a Leafs fan. Sadly, I'm a Rangers fan. I suck at Souls games, so I need to farm hard just to move forward. It's a drawback, but it doesn't make me want to put the game down at least. I mean, if that's how you want to play the game, there's nothing wrong with it. Like I said, my opinion on the matter doesn't matter. I just, um, I'm the type of guy where I enjoy when things are really difficult. So I just don't go out of my way to get extra levels a lot of the time. I just kind of do things natural progression-wise. The intended experience for, like, people that enjoy more challenging things like myself. But if they really wanted you to be at a specific level for any one thing, then they wouldn't let you level up, right? Or they would get they would get to a certain point and they would be like, okay, no more levels for you. If they really wanted you to be at a lower level for anything, then they would do that. But the game is specifically designed for you to play how you want to play. So never not do that, you know? Play exactly how you want to. That's what it's all about. That's what video games in general are all about. The only time I would ever say don't do that is if you're playing an online game and you try cheating there. Don't cheat in online games. That sucks. Outside of that, do whatever you want. I don't know if I can parry that swing attack or not.
I've never actually landed down here this way. That's kind of cool. I could actually go down there <laughs> that way. Not that I ever would, because I'd be missing out on items, but kind of cool to see. I'm glad you enjoy what I do, Greg. Hell yeah. The Misericord. That's something that actually relates a lot to... You, everyone's heard it, right? You, you play this game, you go on the internet and talk to anyone about it, or you just kind of see it posted on social media. People who use whatever in Elden Ring, like, say, magic in Elden Ring, are losers, or they don't care for the, t the intended experience, blah, 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 blah. I hate that elitist shit so much, dude. Like, that, that take is such hot garbage. Sorceries were programmed into the game to be used, right? Like, they specifically were designed to be used in the game. To say that people shouldn't use them, or they are not intended to be used, is some of the most moronic shit I've ever heard in my life. I forgetting anything aside from going down to the ulcerated tree spirit and then going over towards an Afeli Lu. I don't think I am. Oh, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go here. June 21st, Nathan. Right here. It's a game that's supposed to be fun? Yeah. But also, I, I am a... I'm, Souls Likes are one of the very few games where I generally don't default to magic. I generally use magic in most games that I do play. I just prefer not using it in this, at least for my first playthrough, because I like getting stomped on. Like, wait, phrasing. I like being challenged. I want the game to be something that I have to figure out. I like doing the dance with blocking and parrying in these games and that's not to say that you don't block or parry or even dodge as a mage either you definitely do but it's just different because you're trying to maintain your distance right for the most part there are melee magics as well like karian stuff you get what i'm saying you get what i'm saying you're picking up what i'm putting down I just really don't like elitism when it comes to that. If you want to do something to play a certain way, then fine, do that. But let others do them too. You know? That would be like saying, oh, I did a deathless run. So if you haven't done a deathless run, then you, you're, you're shit. And that would be really awful of me to say because I am someone that has the capability to practice. I mean, I do this for a living, right? I have the capability of spending however many hours every day playing video games. Because that's what I get paid to do. Not everyone has that. And to say that would be so dumb. Like, that's not a fair sentiment at all, you know? This shit really bothers me, if you couldn't tell. Rainbow stones. Nice, stand. Nice. 
What up, Rodrigo? You guys keep in mind, Dragon's Dogma 2 comes out on the 22nd. I will be playing that, and it would be so cool to have you here to check the game out. Excited to play more games on my channel soon. Uh, Natsu Demon, the blue effect after I kill something is from my axe. Whenever I kill something, it returns some FP to me. Every time something dies, I get 4 FP. I, uh, wrong spell. Ooh, that double. Ooh. Hell yeah, Syntox. Hell yeah. Where do you get the axe? You get it from killing the Death Bird in Weeping Peninsula. Make it nighttime by sitting at a site of grace and choosing to change it to nighttime. And you can find it right there. It's going to be a Rancor Call. Not a very good spell, but a spell nonetheless. Prince of Death's Pustule. That's everything down here. Let's go back here. Nice stunner. That's not a bad way to do it. Does the FP Restore work when it's in your offhand? Yeah, as long as it's being wielded at any time, Daniel. Yes. The only requirement is that it's being wielded. It can be on your back. It can be in your hand. As long as it's out in some fashion, it works. Damn it, man. <laughs> uh, that was almost bad. I'm not going to worry about that statue down there. Really, no point. What the hell? You gotta fight the camera more than the bird.
And for me, if I don't lock onto it, then I'll just have the hardest time fighting it, so I kind of have to. Be proud. Your only mistake was Everyone say hello to Nefeli Lu. Hello, Nefeli Lu. If you ask you call the winds run. I'm certain for a pass fellow down whatever. A pass fellow down whatever. Alright. Golden seed. And then what I'm assuming is a smithing stone or a somber smithing stone down this alleyway. Yup. Perfect. This is literally the third game I've ever played. A year ago, I couldn't work on a work a controller. I'm happy to have finished the game, and I'll use whatever advantage that game gives me. Dude, that's awesome. So what are the other games you have played, Laura? That's so cool. I love seeing people getting into gaming recently, too. It's just, that's so cool to me, man. I've been gaming since uh, Super Mario Brothers at the age of two, so... It's been my entire life, you know? But back then, as a kid, in the neighborhood I grew up in, playing games was always more taboo, I guess. I don't, I don't know if taboo was the right word, but like, if you played video games, you were known as a nerd and you got picked on for it. So seeing it become a lot more mainstream now is just really cool to me. Obviously, it's been mainstream for a very long time now, but even more so now more than ever. Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Nice. Good choices. He keeps doing this damn combo. the lord of nothing quit yapping he's of gold <laughs> he's a yapper isn't he he's a yapper indeed what does the helmet give me it's an incantation helmet which means um specifically it makes my incantations cost less at less fp but the trade-off is, is that i take more damage when i get hit what a pathetic 
Fantastic excuse for a lord you were. <laughs> Craven to the bone. Oh, hello there. Hey, bud. He got what I tell you, though. He had. Let me take that. Let me take that off your hand. Thanks. Thanks, pal. Appreciate it. All right, let's go down here now. Where can I find it? You have to do a bit of a painting quest. What you got to do is go to the artist shack here in Limgrave. There's a painting there that you can look at, which will start the uh, the mini quest. And then you got to go down here in this area where you'll find a spectral painter. When you find him, he'll slowly disappear and then drop the item. <laughs> Guess, yeah, beating the game without lock on and keyboard and mouse. That sounds awful. <laughs> What'd you miss? We defeated pretty much everything in Limgrave now. Brother, I'm just trying to leave. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to go. For certain things that I want, I get Jack eventually, yeah. Of the shadows are like 12 FPS. Now that Godric is dead, we can open this up. Longest elevator in my life. Okay. Now we've got Godric's great rune. Feels good. I can't really think of any one thing that I missed here of any importance. So I think we're good to move on into Lyurnia now. Just taking a quick glance around. I don't think we missed anything important here. I think we're good to go. Yeah, I did speak with Alexander already. I was like, wait, did I speak to Alexander? And then I realized, yes, I did. I did indeed smack his ass so we can get out of the hole. Very good. Yeah, Shoffer elevator is longer, I know. I'm just, every time I, I'm on a long elevator, I say that. Longest elevator of my life. Can we play Dragon's Dogma 1 to get ready for 2? Nah. No, I don't really see the need to do that. <laughs> what if he goes through the process of scratching his head? Like, huh, I suddenly forgot how to cast this spell.
All right, Shabriri Grape. We can give this right to Hayeta out here. Hello, my name is. If I might be, would you do me? Yes, have the grape. I got this for you. Now I can. You are most kind. the blessing. Fresh off the floor behind the throne room. Very good. May the blessing. Enjoy it. I made this for you. All right, dudes, gamers, we're out of here for now. I'm calling it a night, but I will be back tomorrow. All right, I will be back tomorrow. I'm going to ask you guys to do a little homework, though. I'm going to ask that you go to my channel right now, youtube.com forward slash the Josh feed and go watch some videos. Go watch some videos on my channel. Help me become more recommended to you for other games in the future. I've got a ton of Elden Ring stuff on my channel, but I've got tons of other games on my channel that I've played in the past as well. Everything from, you know, the most recent Legend of Zelda games to the God of War games to some indie stuff. I played, uh, shoot, I played Dead Island 2 on my channel at one point. I got stuff that goes back the last few years all on my channel. So that's your homework for tonight. Go watch some videos. Tell me tomorrow what you watched. All right. Sound good? You just got here? Sorry, Blood Ego. It is about 9 p.m. I got a call tonight. You just missed this? You sure did. I'm sorry, bud. Does your YouTube channel have a whole of Limgrave? I've got... I've got oh, like 40 total playthroughs of Elden Ring on my YouTube channel, Calm. And the large majority of them are pretty thorough in every region. Armored Core 6? Yep, I got Armored Core 6. I've got all sorts of stuff. Even some Baldur's Gate. Anyways, much love to you all. Thank you for chilling. It was great having you, and I will see you tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Until then, enjoy the videos on my channel. Much love, folks. I'll see you soon.